up YouTube Mike here again and today I'm doing part four of my video series on seven great apps for doing video editing on the iPad Pro and again this is not just limited to an iPad this is any iOS device but today I want to show you my workflow moving away from the actual video portion and more post-production and that is dealing with thumbnails so if you go through a lot of work you make a great YouTube video if you don't have a good thumbnail, it's kind of off or not. You're not going to get as many views as you would expect or want. So the next apps that I want to focus on is focusing on creating a great thumbnail for your YouTube video. So the first one I want to talk about is Avery. And this is a free app as well. And I'll, I use this one just for basic um, picture cropping. When I find a picture, and then I kind of add some effects. And from there, we'll move on to the next apps that I want to show you. But let's take a closer look at Avery now. All right, YouTube, so let's take a closer look at Avery. And like I said, this is one that I use not for a video editing app, but for creating thumbnails. So like I said in my intro, you can make any great uh, YouTube video or a super awesome YouTube video, but if you've got a crappy thumbnail and you just go with the default one that YouTube picks for you, it may kind of affect the amount of views you'll get. So let's open up Avery. And like I said, this is a free app and uh, again this will be a demo not a tutorial so don't get your uh, uh, don't get upset if um, it's a bad tutorial because it's not a tutorial I'm just trying to show the, showcase the app but when you first open the app this is what you're going to get it's going to kind of have your most recent pictures from your camera roll so if you're like me and you like to organize your photos um, it's easier to kind of find what you're looking for so when you hit the little camera button on the left it says you can either take a photo or you can choose a photo from the library. So we're going to do that. And so as you can see, I've kind of got mine organized in what I want. So I'm just going to pick a random photo to kind of show you what I, what this app will do. So we'll pick uh, this guy right here. So when you open it up in the app, this is what you're going to get. So along the bottom, as you can see, you've got multiple choices. And it'll slide further still. But this is your basic photo. This is what I imported, and I took this with my... I think with my iPad, but it started on the far left. You've got enhance where you can enhance your app, uh, high def, scenery, food, portrait, um, you name it. So these are just um, tweaking the color essentially. So as you can see, I've clicked all those. So you can see them, and you got high def. Actually, kind of look like the way food looks. But so when you find the one you want, you just go to the right where it says apply, and you hit that. And then moving on, you've got different effects. And these are kind of like what I just did. And as you can see along the bottom, it gives you a little preview of what it'll look like. And if you go to Supplies, now this gives you the option to buy more. So this is a free app, and but I went ahead and paid for um, where I unlocked everything. I forget what it costs, to be honest, but it wasn't that much. And for what this app does, it's totally worth it. I think it was around five bucks, but I'm terrible at remembering what I paid for the apps, but I liked it so much that I paid and had everything unlocked. And so now it'll let me install all of these. But if you haven't paid for it, it'll tell you how much it is uh, when you open it. But it comes with the uh, signature one, which you get all these ones that you see for free. And like I said, you can download more. So, But like I said, what I use this app for is creating thumbnails. And of course, you can do so much more with it. So first thing you want to do is crop. Now if you're doing this for YouTube, uh, the size that you want is 16 by 9 and that's the thumbnail size that you want for a YouTube video. So I always pick that and then you can tweak this where you want it and you can drag it. But whenever you hit apply, it's going to uh, crop it to 16 by 9. So I zoomed in a little bit. So say I just want to have my face in the recorder and I want to have all this room on the left to add uh, graphics or whatever. So then I'll hit apply, and bam, there it is. So next, uh, you can go to adjust, and it allows you to adjust everything you see here. I'm not gonna do it, but as you can see, the options are pretty robust on this app. And then orientation, you can essentially tweak this, any orientation you want, uh, by clicking those on the bottom. Then you move over to transform. And this is a new feature where if you want to actually um, tweak your app so it kind of tilts and this is a brand new feature 
which is actually pretty cool, so I'm going to hit cancel on that. And you've got straighten, so another little cool little uh, tweak that you can do with this app. And then you got horizontal, and you just use the slider to tweak it how you want it. So I'm not going to use those, so we'll hit cancel there. Then text, so this is good if you want to create thumbnails, because it gives you the option to add text to this. So we'll just call this YouTube test. We hit done. And then it gives you the option to pick a font. And there's not a lot of fonts in this. So like I said, the next app I'm going to talk about is what I kind of use for this. But uh, if you're in a pinch, this will work. And there's, you know, the ones it's got are not terrible. So we'll just pick that. Hit done. And you can tweak the color. And there's a wide array of color options for this, as you can see. And I apologize, there is a helicopter outside, so if you hear that, that's why. And also, with this text, you can pinch to zoom, you can move it around uh, wherever you want. And you just hit apply, and bam. Uh, I want to keep editing. So now, uh, moving from text, you've got draw, which I'm not going to show you, but you can draw on this with your finger and an Apple Pencil if you have one. Um, sharpness, blur, focus, same thing. Uh, vignette, stickers. I'll show you these. These are kind of cool. I bought these. Again, uh, if you get this for free, this is what you get. You get the original one. And there's quite a few in here. I like the skull and crossbones. And you can move all these stickers around, stretch them, twist them, whatever you want to do. And, uh, and you just hit apply. But there's quite a few that to choose from. Stupid helicopters taxiing by, if you can hear it. Uh, this is the one I like, I actually paid for. You've got censored, and it's just got kind of some cool stickers you can add to your photos. I'll show you another one here. You got a comic book. So there's quite a few that you can get. You know, so if you go to supplies, there's a ton of them, as you can see. And uh, like I said, I've paid for all these. And the cool thing is, once you buy them, you're able to install every single one of them on your iPad. So if you don't have an internet connection, you still got access to all of them because you can store them. So, and of course, with updates, you get new ones. Like this football one just came with a new update. It wasn't there before. But there's a ton, as you can see. So, but really what I use it for is, like I showed you, I'll go to Crop. I hit 16 by 9 because I want to do thumbnails. And then I go to frames. And there's quite a few frames to choose from, so I usually just pick a good studio frame. As you can see, it puts that nice border around the edge. And there's different ones you can choose. Uh, here's a cool one. Um, it makes it look kind of like an old film negative. So we'll do that. Hit apply, and it's there. And then, of course, we've got overlays, which there's a, quite a few um, that you can pick. So if you want this to be a circle, you know, you name it. And there's a, you know, there's quite a few to change from, to choose from. So, you know, if I want to make myself a money thing, and you can uh, move this picture around so you're in there. And uh, as you can see, you get the point. But there's a ton of options to choose from with this app. I mean, it's pretty impressive. So I, all I use it for is thumbnails, but you can do so much more with it. So you can go over here to blemish, and if you want to, like, you know, blemish a part of it, you just tap it, as you can see. It starts to blur those words back there. And we'll hit cancel. Um, you can whiten stuff. Red eye, splash is where you can kind of mess with different color. And then finally you've got meme. So you can type in a little meme here and then uh, go from there. We'll see what this is. The end and we'll see if it does anything swoopy. So we hit apply and it basically makes it look like a meme that you see on uh, Facebook always going around or Instagram but so this is actually a really great app if you use Instagram at all so and it sets everything for that but that's really it so once you're done creating your project you can publish it to Instagram, Twitter or Facebook and you can even add you know where it'll let you save it or open it in different apps. But when you hit uh, done, 
it automatically will save this to your camera roll. So now this is in my camera roll. So that was just a quick look at Avery. This is an awesome app. Like I said, it's completely free, but if you want to unlock all the different um, stickers and attachment and memes and themes, then it's going to cost you a little extra, but it's totally worth it. Like I said, they publish updates regularly for this app. They just did one where it added some more stickers and just some various app improvements. So as always, hopefully that video helped you out. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you would like to see the rest of the videos in my seven-part series, the next one I'm going to talk about is Typorama. And it's going to be, again, following up with creating great thumbs for your YouTube channel and videos. So as always, thanks for watching.